Immortals, I am Jensen and welcome to Happy Game. I literally have no idea what is in this game. I saw Markiplier play it at some time ago. I probably watched the first four minutes of that and realized I want to play it myself. So here we are. We are going to play it for ourselves right this second. I'm of course joined by chat right up there and they are going to help me through. A man-eater design. A man-eater is a type of mushroom. Death cap if I remember right. Happy Game! Again. Oh, look how happy this thing is. Oh, he's so happy. Well, happy game like Happy Ninja? Yes, Happy Ninja. It's exactly the same. Okay. Oh, we're so innocent. We're so small and innocent. I love the dream catcher hanging from the light as well. It's probably not going to do anything. Let's be real. I think we all know exactly what this uh, game is going to contain. I'm gonna make four videos and then take a break. Okay, Tail. If you need to take a break, that's that's absolutely fine. Sometimes it is best just to take a break from social media for a while. I see, so it's like a point and click, isn't it? Hey, buddy. Good morning. Little guy here, hello. Let's grab his eyeball. Boop. Oh. Oh, this is a strange... Oh, look at the little fingers! The little fingers, they're wiggling around. That's so cute. Okay, we've hit a wall, our first wall. Not like an Elden Ring wall, but a literal wall. Let's see if it's still there. Yeah, it's still there, but the pattern seems different. Uh, okay. Let's touch this. Okay, we touched the wall. Apparently it does actually exist. There's a little teddy bear on there. Okay, that's a dick. I think that's a dick taped to a wall, maybe. I'm no expert. That is a hollow ball of some sort, or maybe even a pterodactyl egg. What are these? That's a lot of pterodactyl eggs. Gross. Can we have them? I think we may be trapped. Hey there, Linda Mashburn. How are we today? We are just kind of like going to and fro this art gallery here. That's raspberry jam. Somebody had a really big raspberry jam sandwich and they threw it at the wall. Oh man, that raspberry jam sandwich is not, it's not doing so well, is it? Oh, there's little footprints coming off of the Raspberry Jam sandwich. Maybe uh, whoever owned the Raspberry Jam sandwich was standing in it. That's a Raspberry Jam sandwich, but in the shape of a face this time. That is... What the hell is that? Donnie Darko-ass looking thing. Oh, that is Donnie Darko-ass looking, isn't it? Ugh. 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 You doing good? Try to rem remember me, because it's probably going to be 2025 by the time I return. I'll remember you, Tail. I'll, I'll try and remember you. You'll be immortalized in video, don't you worry. Okay. I don't know who that is. Is this foreshadowing? Okay, the little boy has a, a slingshot in the background there. What the hell is going on? What is this game? Okay, I'm going to take my chances with the other wall, if we can find it. I think we've probably seen enough right there, right? How big is this room? This is a pretty big room. I'm hearing some kind of weird moaning. I imagine we're making that sound. I hope we're making that sound. Gift! And a ghost. Come on, go get the gift. Oh, we enter Oh my God, what is this? I am made of hate for this. I took a screenshot anyway. There's a clown here. What's up with this? Oh, we can stretch him out. Boing, boing. This is okay, I guess. There's nothing wrong with this. I think there's a ghost over here, but he's he's shy. Okay, we can't go and grab it just yet. I feel like this is a point and click to some extent, but I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here. Boing. I love the jiggle physics. <gasps> Sure, you can have that. I don't mind. We've lost the top of our clan. Oh! At least you get to spend some more time with family. That's always good. What am I playing? This is um, Happy Game. It is nightmare fuel to my extent, to, to, to my extent of knowledge, essentially. Being funny is funny. Is this a Matryoshka doll? Oh, there is a Matryoshka doll over here. Let's open up this Matryoshka doll and see what pops out. It seems like a lump has popped up. 
Okay. Everything is becoming nightmares. Why are we doing this? Now, I've got a sneaky suspicion that there's going to be a little bit of lore in this game that we could probably work towards, but I have no idea what kind of lore we are being shown right now. Maybe, perhaps, we are just afraid. Or this game could literally just be a creepy game for the sake of being a creepy game. It doesn't look very happy. No, no, this, this is a happy game. See the smile? Oh! It is a happy game. Immediately, I'm thinking that we may unfortunately be perhaps potentially deceased. There's a ball here. Or a pterodactyl egg. I think we saw a... No, it is a ball. We've got a creepy demon child. I imagine that's Damien from the Omen. Just took our ball. Stab him! Kick him in the balls! Kick him in the balls! Okay. So we are being tormented by something strange. I want the ball. Give me the ball. I want the ball. Let's bring it to ourselves. What the hell is going on? Okay, let's chase it. Let's go after the ball. We're going after the ball. I don't know what's throwing it around, but I'm not really sure it's important at this point. We just want the ball, right? We, we, we had the ball taken from us and now we want it back. Oh, the clown's head has taken it. We have illuminated the clown's head. It reminds me of a night I had two days ago. It's the demons under my bed. Yeah, you're telling me. This is definitely the demons under my bed. Can we drag this one down? Ah! Let's make that one really heavy. Okay. I think we just found something weird. Sure, let's give us the head. And on we go. You want to maybe put it on the teddy bear? No? Where are we taking this? We're taking this gigantic Pinocchio head somewhere else. Where are we taking it? Who knows? Probably whatever acid trip the uh, developer was having. Ooh. Your channel is an ARG, so technically every game has lore. Yes, 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 yes. What made it worse is it was a lucid dream. That sucks. I hate that. I hate lucid dreaming so much. A lot of people think that you can kind of like control lucid dreaming, but I've been able to control it like maybe twice in my life. So it's unrealistic to expect if so Oh, finally, we found something we want. Let's get rid of Pinocchio's head because we don't actually want it or not. Do we do it manually then? Whoop. Okay, we've resurrected Teddy. Oh, he's doing little claps as well. He's doing a dance. He knows exactly what he's doing. Ooh, very sexy, very sexy Teddy. Very sexy little dance right there. That is a monkey with the clapping symbols. Weird. What's in this one? This is, oh, we need to actually take this here. Okay, Pinocchio is fine. There is still the monkey with the clapping hand over here, but it doesn't really seem like we can do anything. Okay, bye guys. What a lovely crowd, huh? Iris, hey edits, how are we? His name is Teddy? <laughs> <gasps> Jensen, what's your favourite game of all time? Gotta be Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2. Probably my favourite game of all time. Like, that is a loaded question, but Silent Hill 2 has always consistently remained my favourite lore in any game. Oh, that's too heavy. We can't lift that. Oh, what? Okay, so if we turn the light on, there is actually something beneath this. That is a monkey's head. I see that. Do we have to get closer to it, maybe? I'm getting closer to it. Can we just have it? Maybe? Can we have the monkey's head? No, there's nothing under there if it's not illuminated. So, okay. I am made of questions. Love Silent Hill. I know Daddy Big Sword is my favorite antagonist ever. So, we can't lift any of these. Can we, like, drop these down then? Ah, we can. Does that mean we can also drop this other one? Ah, look at this monkey's head. Let's take it. The severed monkey's head. How delightful. <laughs> Can we put it on the monkey, maybe? Right there? Hello, monkey! Do a clap! Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. 
Yeah, this slaps. This is a banger, right? When I'm back, I'm gonna be making videos of Undertale fan games. Ah, that's a good idea, actually. That's a really good idea. It seems to do well. Deltarune, chapter three and four should be out by the time you get back, right? Are we supposed to leave? Is that... I don't really want to. Slaps. Stick this in the try not to bob challenge. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. Hello there, Jonathan Iceen. How are we today? We have just murdered a band, I think. Now, are we murderers? Are we being like possessed by a demon? Are we dead? Are we dead? We could actually be dead. Okay, I'm going to get back on the other side over here so that we can see what's going on. Titties! So many titties! They could be gummy bears as well. We just don't know. We don't know the lore of this game just yet. Yo, Jensen, what did you think of Proppy Playtime Chapter 3 and the ending? Two things! Whoa! Two things I actually hated about it. One, frame drop absolutely revolting halfway through it. Uh, they should have put a cutscene in there. Instead, they um, had the game choke up my 100% of my uh, i7 CPU and also 100% of my RTX 4060 Ti graphics card. So that was bad. And also a little bit of an issue with communication when it came to the catnap boss fight. But other than that, I absolutely loved it. I recommend going to Game Jolt for good fan games. Yeah, definitely. I've actually been recommended a few fan games on Game Jolt already. Like, I think Undertale Yellow was on there. Do we go closer? No. Aha. We are controlling this thing. Let's lift both of his arms up. Can we grab his feet? Can we grab his bum? His little bottom? I am made of questions for everything that I am currently experiencing. Does this go up higher? Maybe? Oh, it's a crank! Oh, okay. Oh! Hello! How are you today? Oh, no! Here he comes! Hi! Pleased to meet you! My name's Jensen! No, don't take your eye out! I have not smoked nearly enough weed for what we are currently experiencing, right? I can scratch his butt? Yeah, I can. What happened to the amnesia machine for pigs? I don't own it! I thought that I owned it, but it turns out that I don't actually own it, and it's like 30 bucks, so, uh... Gonna, gonna be waiting a wee while to play that. I was planning on playing it, but, uh... This one has also been on my list for a while. Ah! Okay! Let's rip it in, in twain! I've cleft him in twain! Okay, back to the ball. Let's go get the ball. Is that the objective? Maybe. Friend good, I good. Are you sh are you sure? I feel like we're in purgatory. I feel like we're a dead kid. I don't know why, but maybe we are actually a dead kid and it's just purgatory all over the place. I can send you a link to an Undertale fan game you can install. Just don't play it before you beat Undertale, Undertale Yellow. Yeah, sure, stick it in the Discord. Uh, there's a link in the description of the stream right here. You should be able to... Uh, find my Discord through that. Hello there, whatever your name is. Gingerbread Matryoshka. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Hello! Oh! Oh, do we gotta like, uh, oh, I see exactly what we gotta do. We gotta stick this one like right here. And then let's put the hands on the cheeks to make it so, like, kawaii des, if you know what I mean. You know, like, super, super kawaii desu. Here we go. That's your new Miku mood, activated. Yep, that's right, okay. Now we pull on the legs. Whee! Pull on the arms? No, just the legs. 
I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at, and I'm all here for it. Rippy! Ah! Ah! Give me the ball! I didn't realize that I had to force her to behead herself. Whew. Wasn't taken off Game Pass? Which Game Pass? This place reminds me of the place where my mommy and daddy keep the kids. It's called the basement. Oh, that's sad. Okay, let's go get our ball. I think, I don't, oh, okay. I don't even think we want our ball at this point. Is it worth it? Uh. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm running now. We are gapping it. Well, that was lucky. They could have killed us. The kid really likes balls. He does, doesn't he? He absolutely does. What if we go back a little bit? Oh. More nightmare fuel. Great. I think that's kind of like foreshadowing for the game. I don't know what... Oh. The ball! It bopped us on the head. Cute. Okay, let's go after the ball again. Certain that these are dead kids as well, by the way. I'm abs I'm almost 100% certain that this place is just made of dead children. Maybe we're in some kind of mental asylum? Maybe this game is literally just nightmare fuel for the sake of it. Oh, blood! And epilepsy! What in the flashbang am I looking at? Uh, there's half a kind of like sideways clown right here. I don't know where to put the sideways. Oh, right here. On this one, right? Boop. There we go. We fixed a clown. And we got a Woody. Great. Thanks. Here you go, buddy. No. Do you want to play some drums? No. Do you want to live in this clog? No. Train? No. Horse. Yes. He rides the horsey. That's precisely what he does. Okay, how many times am I supposed to yank this crank on the back of him here? A pot's fallen out. Of course it has. The cowboy pot. What do we use this with? I shudder to think, honestly. I shudder to think what we use this with. Clog? Dead beer? No? A train? Train maybe? Yes, it's the choo-choo for the train. <laughs> is mommy food art? It is a bit of food art, isn't it? Okay, we've got a, mm, we've, we've got balls, we've got bubbles. We've bubbling bubbles. Oh, this is satisfying, I like this. Do we do it again? Yes, the Necronomicon. Ah, very good Feng Shui. I found the Book of the Dead. You shouldn't have. What else have we found? There's a, a T here. There is a creepy smile with a face on it. What else have we got? We've got a turnkey for what I assume to be this car right here. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So what are the other things all over the place? Is it just death and destruction? And it's off! It's back, no! It is back! We do not want... Springhead. Do we have to... Send it back off again, maybe? I'm not gonna lie. This game has nailed the feeling of disturbances. Okay, mine, and let's now crank the crank. Do we pull its head off, maybe? I'm thinking that we pull the head off. And third time's the charm. Sorry, I can't join Discord. That's fine, it's not going anywhere. Okay, we've got a head for this weird puppy. Great, I would have said five minutes ago. Here you go, kid, hold this. We've got an eyeball. Very nice. We've got a chicken's foot of some sort. We've got uh, souls of the damned. Love that. And we've also got the seven Mickey Mouse hand. No idea why. We've got a drum. Probably for this drum right over here. Drumstick. Nice. Okay, we're drumming up a storm. We have created something else. A hairy little gremlin with a rabbit's head. Give it! 
Here you go, buddy. Hold on to this. Nice! Okay, so we've just taken a toy from something else. We've created the Donnie Darko What's My Doodle. I still have no idea what we are looking at. Okay, we pulled its head off, and we've got this thing, a Cyclops. Uh, got another Cyclops. Got another Cyclops. This is disturbing beyond measure. I think this goes on this doll, right? Yes! We've made a friend! What's wrong, buddy? The dog just growled. Pet doggy! Or maybe not. Maybe not pet the doggy. Do we take the other side? What is this? Okay. So this goes with the Rubik's Cube, maybe? Yes! Okay, it slots into the Rubik's Cube. We have fully completed the Rubik's Cube. Maybe the kid I, maybe the kid just I accidentally snored 50 pounds of coke. Yep, this game definitely has a 50 pounds of coke kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? It's kind of, this is kind of like what Scarface dreams of. All right, I'm really good at these games. Uh, is he gonna cheat? Let's see. He cheats. He's cheating. That's not where it was. He's cheating. This one. He's just cheating. What a dick. Wait a minute. His nose kind of looks like one of the balls, doesn't it? Maybe under... I want it. I want the I want the duck's head. Thank you. For the duck's head, I think. Okay, we've almost finished everything except for these blocks over here. All right, what has this duck got wrong with it? Oh, it's bleeding. Right, of course. Yum. Hello? What's going to come out of here? I wonder. I mean, he's cheating. Okay, let's put more blood on this thing. Why are we fertilizing whatever the thing is? Why are we doing this? Oh, oh my God, that actually jump scared me. Hello there, clown. He just sneezed out a block. We've just beaten it, I think. Hello? Oh, he's got dynamite, no candles. I see, okay. So we gotta kinda like, what are we doing with this? Are we taking the face? No? Hello there, little weird spirit. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got to kind of like catch it, right? All right, let's get him to pull his eyeball out. He will pull it out here. And then we got to like catch it. Yes, good. And now we got to do it again. Okay, I think we've, I think we've done it. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Oh, he's doing a sexy little dance. Look, look at this little mink minx. Here he goes. Ooh. He's lighting it. There he goes. And he's going to throw it. Whee! And we caught it inside of the face of whatever the hell this thing is. All right, one more. Damn, he's getting real fiddly with that dancing, isn't he? Good grief, little guy. Have some chill. Oh, do we have to throw both of them? Yeah-ish. I think I've got to do this one first, right? All right, let's do that sexy dance one more time. And get ready to throw it. Here it comes. Whee! He threw the fire. Okay, we've lit both the candles. He's still doing a very sexy dance. Do 
You're welcome, I think. What have we done? Oh, what have we done? Ooh. I fixed the tube, you. Pennywise said hi. Oh, yeah, that is Pennywise, isn't it? And Freddy Frazbear. I kind of send the link. That's fine. I'll see it eventually. Tomorrow I'll make a random vid and link the game in the description. Definitely do. Hey, Jensen, how far are you into Happy Game? Hi there, Blahaj. I am uh, not very far at all. We've just kind of started. There are dead kids everywhere. Oh, hello, there's another one. That was unlucky. What are the odds that we saw that just now? Okay, we've jumped into the pit of nails. <laughs> Baller, congratulations. You've endured the first nightmare. On to the next one. I had a theory. I had a theory I was about to say, but unfortunately, it's been debunked immediately. I thought that maybe we had been, like, playing on the road and a child was, was out there playing with the ball, and that was us. And then perhaps a car struck him, killing him instantly. Uh, let's go back to sleep then, I suppose. Let's see if we're going to play with more balls. This game is around two hours long. Will you be playing anything else this stream? Uh, if I finish early, I might go and play a little bit of Monster Hunter. Awesome Hydrania. Hard to tell. I feel like playing a horror and then a little bit of eye bleach afterwards is actually a, a fairly good balance. If I can ask, uh, what was the copyright situation with the Hydrania streams? Copyright situation uh, with the Hydrania streams. Music. I played music in the background. So I privated those and I recorded them. I recorded all the streams. In HD, without the music, when I play Spotify on the streams, it doesn't record locally. It only projects to the stream. It's a, a little bit of black magic I've got working in the background here. But then every stream that's recorded by YouTube has lots and lots of copyright claims on it. Now, this is happy. This is a happy game. Love this. Okay, we're up. Charming. We've got a rabbit over here. Well, okay. We've got another rabbit over here. Let's follow it. Why are we doing this? Why are we following the rabbit? I suppose we want the toy, right? That bell is not happy. Okay, bye. It was lovely to run after you. Is there more here? There might be more lore around the place, right? There's got to be a bit of lore around the place. Let's just keep going on, and if the whole place loops, we'll know, right? Okay, there's our bed. Can we just get back into it? No, we can't. Okay, I did try. I tried to get back into the bed, but it just wouldn't take. Man, there's a lot of mushrooms around here. Okay, let's swing the ding -ling on this unhappy-looking bell right here. Bing bong! No. Bing bong! Do we lift it? Do we lift ourselves? What is this thing? It's a carrot. Here you go, buddy. Uh, we're being attacked. Oh no. I think these rabbits might be a little bit ravenous. Why is there blood on this carrot? Do I put it in the bed, maybe? Put, maybe put it in the bed, or do we just give it to... Oh! Let's feed this red one, because he's kind of unique. There we go. Oh, he's so stuffed. Lucky, lucky little rabbit. Okay. Oh, we can take it back out of him. That's actually pretty funny. Let's put it back into him. There we go. Enjoy. Creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy indeed. Okay, so we're after a couple more carrots, right? Or at least maybe... Something that's not a carrot. Oh, there is a carrot here. There's a few carrots. All right, let's feed these rabbits. Let's feed these ravenous, ravenous rabbits. Here you go, buddy. Hold this. So the rabbits should now start coming after us. Or not. Maybe they're not interested whatsoever. That's fine. We can go back. We can lure them all the way over here and perhaps we could uh, trick one of them into ringing the bell for us. Hi, little guy. Okay, let's feed him. Ram it down his gullet. And there he goes. It's a shame he can't chew or digest. Maybe you remnant from the ashes, 100% cleanup start. I could do that. I could do a bit of remnant from the ashes. I'd have to remember where I'm at though. That is a very hard game. Okay, uh, we'll come in here. Yeah, have you just recently got into that series? It's a really good one. Same 
with Dragon's Dogma, actually. Yay? And, and I'll flip a coin on it. I'll flip a coin. Yensen, do you know about garlic phone? Garlic phone? No. What is a garlic phone? Uh, let's feed this one. What has this done? Okay, all of the rabbits are now fat and laden with carrots. What the hell was this? Nothing. Okay, I think it was just a run animation. No, I've never heard about the garlic phone. Now, I bet it's got terrible breath when it speaks. Is this what we needed to do? I think now we might be able to hit that bell. Ding, ding! No? Weird. Or do we have to kind of like pile them up in this hole right here? Okay, I don't think we can open this. We can crawl in really, really close to it. What'd you see, little guy? Vocalize! Narrate! What are you seeing down the nightmare pit? What, what are you pulling out? Why would you stick your arm into a hole? Uh oh. Well, we're doing that again. <laughs> Why not? When I come back, if Delta in Chapter 3 uh, and 4 are all finished, I'll probably do a playthrough of it. It's, it's worth doing. What the hell is this little thing? Guy? There's a lump right here. Some kind of strange lump. Oh, there's also a little hole right here. I think those are where the carrots may have been. I feel like we are supposed to do something with these rabbits. That isn't necessarily what we are doing with these rabbits. Okay, I'm going to take the carrot out of this rabbit here. There we go. Let's carry this all the way over to the bell. I think we may have done a bit of a whoopsie, honestly. Probably also want to lure that rabbit over as well. Okay, here he is. He's kind of standing next to this hole right here. Get him to stand on the hole, and then we'll feed him. No! Get on the hole! You oaf! What are you doing? Yes, perfect. No, no, right here. All right, fine. So this should be fine here, right? Maybe? Who knows? I feel like maybe stacking up a bunch of these fat rabbits on top of that hole will uh, possibly break the boundaries of reality, which is exactly what we want. It's precisely what we want. All right, let's take this all the way over here. Try and get that little happy rabbit to stand on the lump right there. Good. And no, what are you doing? Get back over here. You oaf. Okay, they don't actually want to stand on the hole, it seems. These rabbits are kind of dumb, aren't they? Okay, we fed two of them. Maybe we have to feed them all in front of this bell. Maybe to cheer him up. A lot of maybe some some fat rabbits, some rabbits of size might really, really cheer him up. We just don't know. There's normal mode, the basis of it all. Right hand draw alternatively until you reach the last turn. Then there's knockoff mode. Keep yourself focused. Try to replicate the drawings. Basically an online drawing game. Okay. I'm terrible at art. I know Scott's World is really, really good at art. For free. Okay. Kind of cool, actually. Kind of cool. Never heard of it, but still kind of cool. Okay, let's try and cheer this wanker up. Come over here, rabbits. Come here. What are you doing? What's taking so long? All right, let's stuff him full. Okay, is he happy now? Okay, still can't really... Oh, I see. We're supposed to kind of, like, drag him down? Ah! Why were we feeding the rabbits? Man, that must have hurt that bell's butthole real bad. Hey, big guy. What's your name? I don't want to know. I don't want to know your name. I don't... I don't want to know. I'm leaving. Oh no! That's cannibalism! Oh no! He's gaining on us! Thank God, it was all just a bad dream. Back into the nice little land of sunshine and rainbows. Okay. 
Okay, I know exactly what we're supposed to be doing now. We're supposed to feed all the rabbits in front of these holes right here. We've got to get this in our hand and we've got to feed them kind of like over here, I suppose. Oh, I just realized what the bell is. It's a dinner bell. Oh, oh that's so gross. That's so creepy. Okay, let's do this one next. Come here, carrot. Give me you. Excellent. And now we run all the way back here. So we're basically using these rabbits as bait. Here you go. Excellent. So we want to do a, a complete maybe 360 around the around the earth. So that we can get into the hole. At the rabbit's butt, the butthole. You could probably call it reasonably, the butthole. Come over here, little rabbit. This took ages to figure out, by the way. No, come here! Alright, let's feed him his dinner so that we can feed the other one his dinner. Oh, they're so happy. Oh, so's the bell. Weird. Rabbit! Yes! Now ring it! Oh, he loves that feeling in his butthole. Alright, we're gonna have to run around the circle now while this gigantic one eats all of the smaller rabbits. I actually hate this. I This is so, so creepy. Oh, good thing he's going in a big circle, though. Oh, he's gaining ground real fast, actually. But it didn't work. We got him, baby. Nice. Okay. We've fallen into another world. Hey, guys. I'm, uh, Yitzin. Have you subbed? Don't forget to sub. All right, this one's having a, a big attack, right? Ooh, that's a huge carrot, my dude. I don't think he'll be able to lift that. Is this a power button? What is this? I'm standing on it. That's a guillotine! Okay, I feel like we have to stick the carrot into the guillotine, right? Let's just go through here. Ah, look at all of these severed heads. How delightful. Great. Great indeed. Okay, let's lure something over into the guillotine, right? Like maybe over here? Little guy, you want to, uh, you want to hop into the guillotine? This is a real trolley problem kind of thing, isn't it? There we go. He's in the guillotine. He's all fat and happy. Let's see what happens when we, uh, do the obvious thing. What the hell is going on? I can't tell you, unfortunately. Sounds more modes, and you don't have to be good at drawing. It's made by the creators of the Jackbox Party Packs. Of course, of course. I'm going to be doing that in the future as well for um for viewers, I think. Let's go ahead and rearm this so that they can get out of this horrible predicament that we've caused them to be in. They're awesome. We've created two rabbits. I've got a sneaky suspicion that we have to kind of like separate the rabbits into a bunch more rabbits so that we can maybe get that giant carrot out. Right? Hey there, guys. Do you want a, do you want a delicious, juicy carrot? Here we go. Boop. There we go. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and maybe find another carrot if I can. And we'll stuff it into another rabbit's face. I don't know what could possibly be here, though. I feel like we also have to cut the giant rabbit in half. What the? Yeah, you're telling me. Honestly, I have no idea what this game is trying to tell me. I know there's lore. I just don't understand what the hell, in any way, shape, or form, it could actually be. All right, let's jump on this button right here. And we're going to make more rabbits. There we go. Very cash money. Let's go ahead and just do it maybe one more time. Kind of try and separate them out into two rabbits. And there we go. Excellent. Okay, we've got more rabbits. I think we probably need more. Or maybe not. Maybe we don't need more. Maybe this is enough rabbits. I feel like this might be enough rabbits. All right, let's try and help them. Ah, uh, almost. So close. So close indeed. Oh, we have to pull on his ears. Okay, let's go. Come on, Yank. What are you doing? The carrot came out. I don't know where it went, though. Weird. What the 50% off is happening? <laughs> can someone tell Yinsen he can't see me, chat? No, I can see you, chat. I can see you, chat. This guy's got a little heart. 
Okay, let's free these rabbits or we could just leave them head first in the dirt. Not very nice. Uh, we're playing a game called Happy Game. It feels like an acid trip. You greedy bugger. I feel like we're supposed to put this thing into the guillotine, right? Oh, no, we're supposed to stick it into the rabbit's guts. Why, though? <laughs> My main question. Okay, so this is where the rabbit is going to come out of. It could come this way. And if so, we can jump on this button right here and maybe cleave it in twain. Things I said about the rabbits didn't pop up for you? No, definitely not. It may have been auto-blocked. I've got some auto-moderation on. Let's see what happens when we hit the bell. I feel like it's going to summon the big guy, right? The big guy who wants to eat us? Hi, friendo! Oh, he's covered in blood! How delightful! All right, he's going to try and eat this now. Ugh. That actually makes me feel a little sick. Damn, he wants us dead. Gross! Gross! That is so gross. Okay, it looks like we're in the land of guillotines now. Great! Tea parties and heart faces. There is a little basket right over here. What are we doing with this? Do we want to maybe... I think we got to fill it up with eggs, right? Or something? What is this? Put this in the basket? Nope. Oh, maybe it's a... Maybe it goes on the gramophone over here. Where'd it go? Right here. Boop! I put it on the gramophone. Oh, I'm traumatized? Now that's direct nightmare juice, you're telling me. Play the music. Nothing's playing. What is it doing? It's just throbbing. Oh, we broke it. Okay. Why? What if we just stand on this? Can we cut ourselves open? No, we can't. I did try, though. All right. Let's see if we can't salvage some of the situation. This guy's got some ice cream. Love that. Let's stick him in the guillotine. His only crime is that he liked ice cream. But we can't stick him in the guillotine, unfortunately. We've still got this gift basket as well. We've also got this kind of large one of size. I'm just going to move on ahead. Maybe we need to... Oh, these guys are really unhappy. Never mind. Uh, okay. He's on the chair. I still have no idea what we're doing. Ah, okay. Come on through, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on through. It's safe, I promise. I promise it's completely safe. Boop. Wow, okay. Not even in the clown around is that cuckoo. <laughs> what the actual, I know, right? These guys are really upset. Why do they, why do they want to go through this chair so bad? I'm going to try and kill all of them, obviously, because that seems to be what the game is telling us. That guy's got a gent stick right there. That's pretty funny. He's playing the Pablo Escobar theme from uh, Narcos. This one's juggling. And probably the most mechanically confusing juggle I think I've ever seen. This one's next. What's your talent, buddy? Oh, he's super strong. He's got to die, right? We're going to crush him. Oh, of course. Okay, so we've got a few of them over here. They seem to want to return to their own little spots eventually. What about this gift basket? Anyone want this? What do we do with this? I have no idea. Let's go see the rest of the map before we cast dispersions as to what we're supposed to be doing. Because I've got a sneaky suspicion that we're supposed to get the gigantic rabbit to come out of this butthole right here, and then we've got to throw him through the guillotine a couple of times. Yoink! Mine! <laughs> I just stole his toy. <laughs> Creepy! There's also this thing. Why are they dancing? Oh, we got to put the big one in this pool, right? It, it, we just have to. Okay, 
Okay, they just returned to their dancing spots. Can we stick them in here, maybe? Yes! What about on here? Oh, look, they're having fun. Will this one go in the pool? Yes! Two more. This one here might want to play with that ball. Or maybe the ball wants to play with him. No, he wants to play with the ball, definitely. And the last one can go in this guillotine right here. Maybe we put him over here. And then we kind of like... No, it doesn't work. Gotcha! There's got to be one more thing that we can kind of like put him with, right? Maybe this corpse? Maybe he wants to play with this corpse right here? No, he does not want to play with the corpse. Okay! Yo, you should sell it for some chroma. What, the dead bodies? I don't think I'll be able to get away with that somehow. Hey guys, how are we today? This guy doesn't want to be picked up somehow. Weird. So what is up with these guillotines? And this big guy right here. We're not supposed to put him in the basket, are we? That wouldn't make any sense. Maybe we put these guys in the basket. Possibly. No. That doesn't work either. I am made of questions. I am so confused right now. But I feel like the point of this game is when you kind of like get over the initial confusion, then you've beaten the level. All right, there's, there's a kind of basket that we could probably... No, I don't think we can actually move it away from the zone, unfortunately. A little bit strange. This guy's got a little flower. I tried to put him in the basket, didn't quite work. Okay, so we can't, like, guillotine this uh, really big one, can we? What if we, like, stick him in the chair? What if he shows us a talent that we didn't know he had? Right here. Boop. Nope, nothing. The band is going on. Good. Oh, I see! Great! This guy's doing some lateral raises. Okay. This guy's shredding that strum strick so hard. Uh, we've got a bunch of these crows kind of watching us here. There's the Pablo Escobar theme. I'm getting the I'm getting the, the rabbits. Come in. Hey buddy! Oh, okay, he's got a little hand coming out of his mouth. That's fine. Alright, guys, you know what to do. Drop the Oh my god! Drop the guillotine now! Nice! Oh, I just realized we have to set up all of the guillotines to guillotine him in sequence. Okay, so maybe the guy of size goes on that hook right there. Oh no! Ah, oh, thank God it was just a, a bad dream. Now that's dying for some exercise. Yes, Bampton, I definitely agree. Let's try and hook this, uh, this big guy onto that hook right there, that meat hook. Boop. Nope, nothing. Uh, what about him? This little guy, no. What about if we try and put this record... Can we take this record up? Yep. And we stick it on there. Do we break it? I don't know if we're supposed to break it. I'm going to break it. It broke. So this guy's head should burst. Maybe we can put his corpse on the hook. Why is everyone laughing at that? That is so creepy. Okay, we've still got this basket right here. We can probably stick this on the hook. Excellent. Uh, we probably now need something weighty. Right, to stick in it. Yep, that functions. Okay, so that's one guillotine set up. The other one is already set up. Good. And there is a third one that we still need to set up as well. Rippy! Oh, this one's got a little teddy bear. That's strange. Right. So all of these guys can kind of like go with their little play toys, right? That one does not go up there. I'm going to stick this one on the little duck. This guy can go in the paddling pool. Nice. There you go. And this one can have the ball. Or not. This one can have the ball. This one can have the ball. This one can have the ball. That one can have the ball. And this one here, he's kind of left out. Let's stick him on this pole. Never mind. Let's take this beer and we'll stick it up onto this platform. Go on, throw it. I dare you. Boop. And it's gone. Oh, no. Okay, so his head's burst. Still need to find a way of getting this lever up. We could probably use our hand to kind of do it, but I don't think that's going to be how we 
are supposed to manage this, right? Can we, like, lift this guy up further? No. What about this guy? Do you want to go up here, buddy? No, he does not. A little mushroom here. Does nothing. What about this paddling pool? Nothing. What about this? Oh, we can spin this around really far. He fell off. Oh, no. I burst his face. Oh, that poor guy. That poor little baby. Poor guy. This kid has seen some things. I know, right? That's why I think there's lore in this game. Ah. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so we had to kill that guy. That's all three guillotine setups. So we should be absolutely A-OK -okay to tussle with the muscle of the giant rabbit. We'll ring this thing's butthole really quick. Swing around the anal bead. And here he is. Here he comes. We're running. Right, this guy doing his lateral pull downs is going to drop the first guillotine. Oh, there we go. We've cut its head off more or less. And now we've exposed all of the heads of dead children inside of his stomach. Maybe those are past iterations of us, actually. And this is the second one. I don't know how this kind of one of size is really going to burst. Never mind, I figured it out. Okay, we've cut his face in half, revealing even more dead children inside of it. Why are we murdering all of these things? That's my next question. Okay, the hand is leaping around the place. We've already burst another head. I think we've basically got this in the bag, right? And here it goes. Okay, we've cut the hand in half. It's kind of still grabbing around the place, but it's not really like... It's not a threat, so to speak. God, the contrast of this game is so crazy as well, isn't it? Like the colours. Oh, no. I suppose we've reaped what we've sown. Oh, no. This is really bad. Oh, the sun is creepy, too. Great! Yinsen, every capture I do fails. Well, what do you mean you're doing captures? Something's wrong with my PC. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a skill issue. Can we play with this head? The severed head, maybe? Okay, we'll touch this thing. Don't put it on! Okay, I get us literally stuck in this thing. They owe me my mortgage payment. Okay. It's become a happy game. Great. I can't log into any website. That sucks. I have no idea how to fix that, unfortunately. You might have to restart your browser. What happens if we just, like, go into the hands? Oh, they're giving us some little tickles. That's sweet. That's nice of them. Can't really, uh, do anything with them, though. All right, let's go back this way. What are we being attacked by this time? Disturbing. Very disturbing. This is the strangest puzzle game I think I have ever experienced in my life. Like, this is a drug trip. Knife. Nice. Got a knife right here. Thank you. Let's give it to this child, of course. Is this lore? Is this lore? No, I don't think it's lore. Okay. I thought that maybe we could potentially stab the hands away so that we wouldn't be harassed by them, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. Oh, hi! You? How are we today? What's your name? Hi! Ah! Delicious! Yeah. Have a knife. Okay. I think that the knife is supposed to dice the head up, and then we got to garnish it with something. And this one. I just got an achievement. Licking the blade. Apparently knives are for cutting, not licking. Okay, that's good to know. That's probably going to actually help us uh, solve all of these puzzles. There's got to be a couple more items around the place, right? 
We've got to find like a garnish. That fork probably has some some giveaways. Let's try and use the fork. Hello, I need this. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, let's hold this fork. It's molded with its head now? Yes, well, Hush, it really has. I can give you a solution for 1,000 chromo. Scam! Scam! I'm calling Scam Spamton. All because of one soccer ball, this kid has a major skill issue. Agreed. Fully agreed. This is a great example of perfect babysitting. Yo, it's Juju. I just made noodles without anyone helping me. My family is asleep, even my sis. Good work! Good work! It's really, really hard to make noodles from scratch. Like, um, from flour straight to, to pot. Okay, let's see what this does. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that top guy has to have the fork, right? <laughs> and this guy's got to have the knife. I don't know what the second one is supposed to be doing, because I haven't found another item yet. Cutty, cutty, cutty. Good, we've cut the face in half. Excellent. It's a cake! And we've got to put something on top of the cake. Hmm. And then we put the cake in the face of the Matryoshka Nightmare. Oh, apparently the cake is disgusting. It? Us? No. There's got to be like a little cake topper somewhere, right? We've got to find a, a cake. Ah, is that salt? Yoink! <laughs> Sucks to be this guy. I think he just tried to kill us with the salt as well. Okay, let's go ahead and hold this so that we can run around the map a little bit. And we should be good. Whew. And I didn't burn down the house from the packet. Remember when I said my age? Oh, yeah, actually, good work. Good effort. One of my friends is 30 and he's still making uh, pot noodles. <laughs> I can teach you for the sweet, sweet price of a 10,000 chroma. No. Yes, salt, the perfect cake seasoning. Well, you know what they say, you can't make a cake without salt. I don't know if people actually say, I'm, I'm quoting recipes. Recipes say you can't make a, a cake without salt. It's kind of a, and it, oh, never mind. It is drugs. He doesn't like it. Oh, I know what he wants. He wants salt, doesn't he? He wants some delicious, yummy salt. So let's go ahead and swap these over. Yum, yum. Okay, we've poked that guy in the face a couple of times. Nice. And now we stabbed the head a few times. And now we put drugs... Is that what he wanted? Okay, apparently we're doing that again. I accidentally just clicked it again. The perfect salt for the perfect puppet. What game are you playing? I forgot his name. It's called Happy Game. Hey there, I'm Bob the Skeleton. I'll give you a stick for the low price of 255 bucks. Uh, I reject. I reject. Absolutely not. Okay, let's swap these around and see what happens. Boop. I feel like putting drugs on the cake, or at least the head, might be a good idea. Okay, that next guy hates that. But we already tried the uh, the orientation, the obvious orientation, this one here. We already tried this. So we cut the head, we get the cake, we season it with scopolamine, of course. What else would we would we season a cake with? And then we use the fork to feed the thing up top. But he doesn't like how it tastes. Oh, now he likes it. We already tried this. Oh. Stop it there. I'm the only number one rated salesman, CC 1997, in this YouTube stream. <laughs> I think he wants more drugs. He's going to get more drugs. Oops. Okay, that one's, that one's purpose is to blow, this one blows, and this one blows as well. All of them blow. What are we blowing? Are we blowing this bowl, maybe, this plate? We can't pick it up or anything like that. 
Okay, since we've killed them, they shouldn't have hands coming out of the ground over here. Never mind, there they are. Okay. So they're playing us the world's most annoying violins. I'm not entirely sure why they are doing this. Maybe we're done with this area. No, we can't go any further that way. We must have to use the gigantic face while he sleeps, right? Nothing? Nothing? What are we blowing? Why are we blowing? I am made of... Oh, I see. Okay. So let's hold this. Maybe we can feed these hands over here? Perhaps? Here you go, guys. Do you want this? Do you want this bowl right here? No? You don't want to block up the, uh, the pits of Tartarus down here with the bowl? Can we blow on them? No, we can't. <sighs> okay! This is creepy and weird. Alright, so we've got a giant plate. We can't really interact with that gigantic monstrosity anymore, nor can we interact with the hands. Do we drop the plate into the soup, maybe? Yes! It sprouted a sail. Great, let's blow it. Okay, good. Oh no, we gotta blow it the other way around, right? We gotta we gotta blow it towards us so that we can get on it. And then we sail the purple pit of hell. Okay, good. Hop on, buddy! Man, that is a deep bowl. Good grief. Let's go ahead and grab all of these little doohickeys here. We'll blow ourselves across. Please don't take that out of context. Whew. I didn't even check the name. I bought the skeleton, just started selling melted snow for a billion bucks. Nice! I hope you get a sale. It sounds like a bad deal. Learn to be a big shot. I, I'm probably actually in agreement with uh, Spamton in this one. This one blows, this one blows, this one also blows. Yep. This is a dust vac shop. Rich, what the hell? Nah, I need coke. <laughs> oh, this is a no head zone. Perfect. Let's take this with us. Or not. Maybe we can take the head off. No, we cannot take the head off. Let's just frolic a along a little bit further, right? Ah, the corpses of children are falling from the sky. I've heard of it raining cats and dogs, but I've never heard of it raining the corpses of children. Well, someone's in a mood. Our turn! Our turn! Hello! We're now playing Loco Roco! I think that's what it's called. Oh. Is that Russian? Pick the ball! Oh, you oaf! Pick the ball this way! Okay, it's not working. Can we... Oh, I see. we got to get a real good run-up. And give it a real good kick. I think maybe we have to score a goal of some sort. Okay, we're running up. Boom! Oh, no. The referee is upset with us. We have picked up the ball. Okay, let's go ahead and take a run-up from over here. Now the kid is a soccer ball. I feel like a soccer ball. Boom! The cacophony of the damned has begun. Let's continue. I think. Boom! Oh, he stopped it. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we got to get it a little bit closer before we actually got to ram it into that guy's face, right? Boot it up a little bit. Not close enough for the goalie to be able to pick it up. And then we start from over here. The real Bob the Skeleton is here, boys. I killed the real skeleton. 
Okay, let's get a little bit of a run up again. I think the third time is going to be the charm. We want to break this guy's face, right? We're basically a football hooligan. I feel like this is kind of like physics. The same distance that you make this little guy run is the same distance that the ball goes from a kick. And boom! We smashed him in twain. Hands are flying from the eyeballs of the athletes. We have succeeded. We've scored a victory point. Great. I love that. I think. Goal again. Whew. Now that's a big shot. Oh, something saved. Oh, hello there. What's your name? I'm Jensen. Yeah, that's my actual head, my dude. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're like a little astronaut, aren't we? Hi, I'm Jensen. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? No? Would you like to? Oh, I see. Okay. We gotta grab his tongue. Oh, nice. That is slapstick. Poor baby. Now we pull his eyes out. He mad. I wasn't serious. What the hell am I witnessing? Honestly, what? Give him a candy? I'm gonna play Minecraft while watching on my tablet and play Minecraft on Nintendo? Fear! I'm just gonna be jerking this guy's eyes around. He's loving it. He's absolutely loving everything that we're doing right now. This has gotta hurt, right? Oh, I pulled his eyes out. Okay, we can probably actually sneak past now, right? What, he can't smell us? He has no nose. What is he chewing? Where'd he get the gum? Oh no, now he's blind and covered in gum. That sucks. That dude's eyes are like my hoodie string. I know, right? It's so weird. But like the eyes just to be attached to their occipital lobes, like... On, uh, on a string. It's super strange. Okay, well, now that he's disabled, let's move onwards. Well, that was easy. All it took was severely disfiguring some random here. Okay, we finally got the rabbit. We've almost got the rabbit. I think this series of hands might want the rabbit more than we do, though, unfortunately. Oh! The pits of Tartarus have opened. Go, hello. Hello there. <laughs> I am made of questions, by the way. I'm absolutely made of questions. We're in the underworld, and they're fighting over my soft, supple child flesh. Delightful! And down we go! No, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, buddy. Do you want me to stick your head back on? There's a living rabbit over here. He's still alive. He's been impaled by spikes, unfortunately. There's a Watsmadingle over here, living inside of a mask of some sort. There is a... This? <laughs> there is this. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm taking that. Thank you. Get that little nightmare off of that thing, whatever this is. Are they matches? Are we playing with matches? Did we burn the house down, maybe? And now we're in hell or purgatory or something? Oh, hey, buddy. 
How you doing? You want you want some of these guys to skewer on top of that big stick? Maybe? Yes! Okay, we are roasting. Yum! Yummy? No. Okay, they're not actually burning, it seems. Okay. Alright, we're actually making a shish kebab of creatures. I hate this. I actually hate this. One of these guys is gonna survive, lucky, lucky fella. Okay, there we go. We've made a, a living shish kebab. Hey, buddy. Got your head. Maybe your arm as well. Maybe we take his arm. We've broken it. Okay, this kind of feels like the nightmare is waking us up at this point. I have no idea what that thing in the middle is, by the way. No idea. Great! Okay, we've done so much. We've accomplished so many things. Why, though, is my next question? Oh, there's another face over here. Maybe we just have to go through kind of like another purgatory of hell again. That is a meat grinder. I know exactly what to do with this. Let's put some rabbits in it. Let's put a bunch of rabbits in it. Boom, boom. Nope, let's just do them one at a time, I think. Ooh! Ain't that! Okay, another! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Okay, let's put this one in there now! Uh... Okay. So we want that one in there, and we're actually going to take this guy out. We're going to put him here. So now we want a rabbit in here, right, all, like, already, maybe? Okay, this guy's very pissed off. Do we just, like, kind of grind one in there? See what happens. Okay, there is a rabbit in there now. Okay, let's get this rabbit his revenge. my life yeah i'm in the same boat hey do you think i should have bought the skeleton profile picture or a jevil one i'm more of a jevil kind of guy aha uh -huh, let's rip him into pieces ah another one of these hearts for us to really kind of have some nightmares with I, okay so if i was to analyze this with like Jungian dream theory i would say that this is kind of like showing us that our heart is racing which means that we're about to wake up Okay, so these heads are kind of like bombs. We just sent one bomb off. There is one more head bomb kind of off to the right. Whatever this thing in the middle is, is atomizing these giant heads as well. It might be the Dreamcatcher. This is terrifying, honestly. This is just the worst. Okay, into the last one. <laughs> what the hell did I come back to? Uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, this is Happy Game. Do we catch it? No. What are we supposed to do with this? Ah, the face is getting more intense each time we pop. Okay, we've made something. It's throbbing. 
It's pulsating. It's kind of losing color, right? Every time we... Oh, it's bleeding as well. Great. No, the color's coming back, actually. Oh, I see. We gotta, like, pull out its little dinglings. Are these supposed to be... Is this a glove? I feel like this might be a glove of some sort. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Hey there, guys. Oh! Take a screenshot of that. Let's try and tear his organs out. Everything is twitching. Uh, this game is literally leaving me speechless, by the way. Okay, let's let's beat his heart off. Whew. But this re is really a happy game, I'll say. My God, this is terrifying. We've done it. We've set off the bomb. Probably the easiest weird puzzle we've faced so far. Gotta be said, gotta be said. Oh, we're gonna have to play some eye bleach after this, right? We get our rabbit! Nice! Finally! Yes, it's coming in, as well as Dolby Digital Surround Sound. 7.1, I would say, probably. We did it! We passed the second nightmare. Apparently we're almost happy according to the achievement in the lower right hand corner. It's possessed though. Either that or we're still dreaming. Oh, I get the game now! It is a sleep paralysis demon! Ah! Okay, so there is lore. We're actually being inhabited by a sleep paralysis demon. Demons traditionally prey on um, those with lots of innocence. So I think that's the entire story of this game, gotta be said. I don't necessarily think there's kind of like anything underlying. I think that it's literally just kind of like we're under the influence of a sleep paralysis demon and we're kind of like living out a few nightmares while we sleep, while this guy has a hold of us. That's kind of what they're doing. Uh, do you want to get up? No, he does not. Doggo! Over my shoulder, there's a doggo. Don't go anywhere. There he is. Doggo! Oh, I tried to lift him. I want the doggo, but I know that this is going to be going horribly wrong. Uh, can somebody really quickly just, uh, does the die, does, does the dog die.com? Where the hell are we? I don't think we're like, okay, so I don't think we're like dead or anything like that. I think we are literally just as, that dog just pissed on the ground. I want Doggo! Doggo! I think that Doggo may be in a spot of bother. Let's spin this. I, I feel like this may reveal what is hidden. There's a gigantic black cloud that maybe we can like stick over this thing. Okay, that's unhelpful. I think we gotta like get him over. R like right up here. I think there he is. Strike! Strike! Oh, don't no, strike me! Okay, there is something kind of here, isn't there? There he is. The Rain Man! Almost literally the Rain Man. Trying to reveal him a little bit further, but it's kind of tricky to do so with these mechanics. Okay, so this guy has picked up our dog and is now harassing us with the dog. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Can we, like, rip his head off or something like that? I want to rip his head off. Okay, it's just attacking us with the dog. Whew. 
Devil, how many are you guys? Chaos, chaos! At one point it is implied that the dog goes missing, but the dog does not die on screen and it is seen at the end of the game, so I'm gonna say that the dog is fine. Perfect! So slender stream soonish? I'll play slender at the end of this, just for a little bit. I smell depression. Might be a depression allegory, maybe. You should play Minecraft with subs? I will eventually. I wanna get into more like modern Minecraft with the skyblock and stuff like that. Not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing here though, to be quite honest. Unless we're supposed to actually strike it with lightning, which we probably could if we just get the cloud hanging over here. I didn't try to click on the cloud, did I? I don't think I did. Let's try it. Boom! Strike! Strike with lightning! Don't strike the dog. Strike me! Strike with lightning, please! I beg you! Ah, there we go. Hello? <laughs> Oh, there's something in it! You may be right about the depression, honestly. You may be right. What is the clown around town doing here? Oh, he pops up every now and then. I wish I could join, but I don't have any Nintendo Online membership, so I couldn't join you. Probably wouldn't be playing it on Nintendo. Gotta be said, I would probably be playing it on a computer. Because that's what I stream from. We are surrounded! Maybe this is like an allegory of like mistrusting our... The people who, who kind of are responsible for us. Let's grab his tooth and let's uh, rip it out of his face. Doggo's free! Doggo! Oh, we are so excited for Doggo now. My best friend when I was a kid was a dog. His name was Zudo, he was a hunterway. Almost purebred too. Do you play Minecraft Bedrock or Java? Uh, don't know yet. Probably Java. Probably gonna be Java. I played a lot of Bedrock on PlayStation, but then Microsoft bought Mojang and all of the updates, I couldn't keep up with them. I can still join with crossplay? Oh, that'd be cool, actually. I'll put up a, a big community post when I'm actually about to do it. But it will be a hardcore map. If you die, you're done. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the appeal. I might get a bunch of my friends to, like, try and play with me. Hello? He's gone! Oh no. I am now suspicious of my surroundings. Java, I hope, yeah, it, it probably will be Java, honestly. It'll probably be Java. Okay, here we go. Because I know that redstone is really, really fiddly on bedrock. It doesn't work so well. I don't have a strong soap piece, so I don't really play Java. And a terribly strong piece here to play uh, Java. You just need to, like, turn the, the rendering distance down quite far. What the hell are we supposed to be doing with this? Do we grab it? Okay, I am again made of questions. Do we maybe continue doing... What the hell? What is this? Yeah, let's get on it. That's a great idea. On this giant blood pumpkin. Okay, I'm lifting myself up. It's not really doing a hell of a lot. What about Doggo? Doggo doesn't do anything. What about these? Nothing. Do we roll it? No? Do we just keep ourselves up? Maybe we're supposed to like, put it back down in maybe? I'm not really seeing anything that we can interact with here, to be quite honest. I'm gonna try to join you when it happens. I hope I can. Yeah, I'll leave it like a like a public lobby with a password on stream or something like that. Just so that we know we're all playing with each other. But at the same time, it will be modded. There will be a bunch of mods. I've never tried Vault, so I want to play that. And Feed the Beast also looks really, really cool. I know that there's like, a, I think it's called Red Factory. Or something like that. Also looks really, really good. Huge mod packs though, like a few, a few gigabytes. What are we doing here? Do we just have to lift ourselves up? Maybe swing ourselves around? No? Doggo, maybe? I don't think there's anything that we can necessarily do with this. I'm trying all the buttons, it's not doing anything. But I can't get into servers? We'll see, we'll see what happens when it actually, oh, here we go. We can go sideways here. A branch has fallen out of its eye socket. Never mind, it's a broom. I thought it was a branch, I was incorrect. Let's lift it up, I suppose. 
Okay, we're using leverage, it seems. Let's try the other way now. See what pops out of this eye socket. It seems like a living creature. What kind of living creature, though? A voodoo doll. Of course. Now we are standing on censorship. Okay. One goes this way. Two goes this way. <laughs> what the hell is this? Three goes this way. And then one. And then two. And then three. Okay, we've knocked something over. I am made of questions. And here we go. We are walking the Baba Yaga's car. Alonzi. Oh, that one's way faster than us. There's a stampede of censorship. Oh, 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 my head, my brain. All right, we're still being stalked by the icon of the game. What website do you get your mods for Java? I think I use te the Technic launcher. I'm more of a console player, I grew up with the Xbox. Yeah, I grew up with PlayStation. I mean, PlayStation's better in every single way, but I do understand that some people uh, had the unfortunate history of ending up with an Xbox. Can you install a controller mod for Java so I won't suck? It has native support. It actually, it has native support. You can just plug a gamepad into a computer and it's fine. You gotta have a USB though. Okay. This is very Baba Yaga, isn't it? Reminds me a lot of kind of like Russian folklore here. Xbox 360 is better than the PS3, but PS4 is better than Xbone. I would, I agree with that second one, but I, I would also say that in every single way, shape and form, the PS3 is better than the Xbox 360. This is very Russian folklore. I have Xbox One. PS3's UI sucked. I was really good at PS3's UI. In fact, when I was using the PS3's UI, I was, uh, I still am actually able to start up my console on a TV that I've never plugged into before, fire up a game and then have it at the main menu before I can even see the screen on. I can also turn them off uh, pretty easily without looking at the screen as well. Now I'm a true big shot, but with the right image. <laughs> yeah, you are spammed in, nice. And it ran better than my PS3 was. My PS3 definitely ran leagues better than my Xbox 360 by a long shot. Okay, so we kind of need something to get through here, right? What are they doing? Oh, they've got the dog here and they're beating it with a stick. They've got this uh, kind of impossible MC Escher triangle. Ah, this one. Hello. I'm going to take you now. I'm ripping its head off. Why am I doing this? So I can wear it. Obviously it's for hats. Why else would I be doing this? You might've had a dud 360. Or I just had like a, a normal PlayStation 3. Or every single one of my friend was a PlayStation guy. I No, I had one friend who had Xbox and he was weird. He, he was a really, really weird kid. They're not attacking us now. We're actually just walking through. Oh, it's over my shoulder, by the way. We're kind of walking through over my shoulder. You can see that's us right here. Yeah. Man, the PlayStation exclusives, I like them so much better than the Xbox exclusives as well. Like Army of Two, Devil's Cartel, that game slapped. My God, that game was awesome. Loved it so much. Okay, what kind of seance are they doing here? I think that's supposed to be us, but it's got here. No, it is supposed to be us. Or is it? Okay, for some reason, our character's backing away. I'm not sure why they took Oh, my eyes! My eyes! I need those! Oh my god, I thought it was humping the body for a second there. I didn't think it was eating it, I thought it was humping it. That's not how that works? What, humping a body? I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the motion of the humping, but I think he was actually trying to consume it, rather than actually hump it. What is in the... It's got to be Doggo, right? In the reeds with us? I can do anything! 
Doggo was behind us, which means the thing in front of us was not Doggo. It's probably another one of these weird Wiccan shamans, right? Wiccans aren't Russian. What, what are the kind of, like, the Russian pagans? What are they called? Oh, I know this puzzle. Do we actually have to do the puzzle? Oh, I think we may. Never mind, I don't think we have to do the puzzle. So there's probably like cairns, which are kind of like rock-based grave markers, if I remember right. We'll put that one up there. Don't want to deface the uh, graveyard too bad. Okay, big rock here. Let's put a uh, slightly smaller rock on top of it. Maybe this one. We'll create a cairn, I think. I think we're creating cairns. Oh, this, there's a smile on it now. Creepy. Excuse me, doggo. Need to say a rock right here. Boop. All right, he seems really, really happy that we've stacked rocks on top of his head. Never mind, I take all of that back. Good grief. The rocks are floating. Are they mating? Is this how trees are born? Watch out, doggo! The trees are rooting! I'm made of questions. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so made of questions. I can join you if you friend me on Minecraft. I'll just make like an open server. I'll make an open server, cross-platform server, and then I'll password protect it so we don't get randoms in. Because that does happen a lot on Minecraft, and most of them only really go onto public servers. Just pour Minecraft uh, lava on somebody's house and then leave. I've had that so many times. That Minecraft players it tend to be quite antisocial people on the public lobbies. What the devil? Field of Reeds, unlikely, but I like Egyptian mythology. It is also very kind of like Croatian, Russian, Eurasian lore as well. Eurasia really, really likes the Field of Reeds thing. And since we're seeing the kind of like roots above and branches below imagery here, I'm starting to lean towards more like Scandinavian kind of influence. There's a hand under the surface. Okay, they're reaching for us. But it is super strange, isn't it? Honey, be quiet, the trees are rooting. <laughs> I'm trying to catch him. I got one. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Is this supposed to be Baba Yaga? Is it a house? Nope. That is most certainly not a house. I think it's mold. Uh. Okay. We just gave ourselves a little kiss. Oh. Hello there. Would you like me to jam this into your face? Cthulhu? Hey there, corpse. Do we just keep on yanking them out? Is that what we're supposed to be doing here? We gotta yank out all of these tentacles. disturbing beyond measure like seriously it is disturbing a very very gross creepy game okay now we shove this into the face right there you go buddy oh he loved that too and he's floating and we are not is this how we die oh look at all these corpses we are currently standing on top of do we have to like jump from corpse to corpse yep I hate this. I actually hate this. Oh! Dog Shark has more viewers than you right now. This is an outrage. That's fine. I am playing a disturbing game. Okay, what the hell is this? What's Dog Shark playing? I didn't even know he was a streamer.
I'm not gonna lie, this game has gobsmacked me. He's playing a game called No Skin. Oh, Markiplier just played that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the Markiplier train is a very, very consistent way of getting a lot of viewers. I did it for a while, but then I kind of realized that the people that comes with it tend not to actually want to stay for the content. They just want to see Markiplier games played to completion, essentially. Okay. We're missing a head, which is fine, I suppose. Ah, great. We've got some dead fish. I don't know what I'm looking at. That's a big one. And it's pregnant, I think. Is it pregnant? What is going on? Okay, we've broken one. We've broken two. We've broken three. Oh, I see, there is a head on this thing. What in God's name? I am made of questions. Do we feed it? Do we have it scream, maybe? It seems to recoil every time we touch its belly, right? Mm, I think we're supposed to do something with these fish, but I don't think we're supposed to do it topside, right? Okay, we are holding one of the fish. That does nothing. We are opening the mouth. We have fed the fish. It's getting slightly fatter. Gross. Okay, we gotta give it to ourselves under from underneath it seems. And now let's feed again. Let's feed ourselves. I imagine this is kind of like supposed to be us. Still have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, okay, and we're gonna do it one more time, I think, before we give up on feeding these things. Why is it that every time I play, like a Russian or a Ukrainian or any other kind of Eurasian game, it's just creepy nightmare fuel to the max? No Skin is a nice RPG, but it's not one I'll suggest at the moment. You have enough RPGs under your belt right now. I'm not gonna play it. I'm, I'm not gonna play No Skin, and the reason for that is I'm watching Markiplier play it. <laughs> Simple as that. You both have no wife, no father. Hello there, Yinsen. Hello there, Gunner. Sorry, I'm just uh, watching the, the weird Spamton versus Jibble fight in the uh, in the comments there for a second. <laughs> Don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, we've got ourselves a tentacle, I think. It is living. Ah, we've also got a head. Right, so our head is now a mechanic in the game. Can we feed it to this monster? No. This thing kind of feels like anxiety, doesn't it? It looks like something anxiety would... Oh, uh, an eyeball! Here you go. Yummy, yummy! Enjoy! Yummy. Mmm. Tasty, tasty. Okay, let's try putting the tentacle back in. And then we'll feed it. Yummy, yummy! Enjoy your eyeballs! Do you want this head as well? No? Do we shake him around? No, do we get the tentacles off? Maybe? So the eyes fall out? What just fell out? What is this? What is this thing doing a weird creepy dance? Is that an arm? Okay. I don't know what just came out of him, to be quite honest. Oh right, so we gotta like shake it up so there's some eyeballs and stuff fall out, right? All right, here's another one. Let's feed him a bunch. We'll see how many eyes we can feed him before he kind of gets too stuffed and vomits. I'm betting it's going to be 300. Oop, no more eyes in that one. Let's start feeding him the eyes from here, or not. Should be good. Let's try and yank these tentacles off again. We've got a body. Excellent. I came to you from a Markiplier video and I stayed to be fair. You are literally the only one. Oh, and Mads. Mads and you. We're the only two that really survived after, uh, I think it was, it was My Eyes Deceit, right? It was that one. I did the full lore breakdown and everything. And I finished it because Markiplier didn't. I don't know what's going on, but it seems pretty final. Okay, here we are. 
I think this is us, right? We are this kind of like little orb beneath the surface of this water. Maybe? I feel like there's something under here that we're supposed to be finding. Maybe. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the case at all. Okay. Maybe there is actually something beneath here we have to find. Maybe maybe this little soul that we're going at and controlling is kind of like a... A spyglass or a divining rod of some sort. Or maybe it's just weird for the... Oh, no, it's just weird for the sake of weird. Is it a moon? Oh, what are we looking for? Oh, okay, hello! It's Hannibal Lecter! Hello there, Hannibal Lecter! How was your day today? Have you eaten any livers with some fine Chianti? Looks like it. Definitely looks like it. What are we supposed to be looking for? Us! Okay, I found us. We're kind of like stuck in the bowels of whatever this thing is. Can we pop out of the mouth? No, we are trapped in here. It's more of like a chrysalis than Hannibal Lecter actually, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and bust his teeth out like some kind of torture master. It's Majora's Mask! Great! Oh my god! Just I don't know what's going on some of the entire game so far. Yes! The puppet and Hannibal Lecter had a baby? Yes! I definitely agree with that. Okay. Let's swing this hanging monster around a little bit. I think maybe we've got to pull it all the way over here and kind of let it go. Whee! Nope, that's not right at all. Maybe we've got to pull it this way instead so that we can grab it. It grabbed us! Sure! I don't know what's going on. Probably does sum up the game. However, I would also like to retort with, why are we going through this? What is it trying to tell us? Is there a point to it? <laughs> All of which you can very easily answer with no. I don't think there's any point to it. Doggo! Okay, I can't bring Doggo to us. I can only bring us to Doggo. Probably makes sense. We're the ones with legs. Doggo! I'm glad the dog doesn't die, Doggom. That was a strange animation. I just saw clipping textures. Okay, the dog is now beneath us. I imagine that's supposed to be in, like, the spirit world or something. And away he goes! What the hell is going on? I'd still like to reiterate that the, the... I think the whole story of this game is that a sleep paralysis demon has us and is forcing us to go through a bunch of nightmares. And if we fail the nightmares, we die. The sleep paralysis demon gets our innocent soul. I think that's basically the story. Acid trip? Could also be an acid trip. <laughs> Let's get the guy playing happy game. No, don't. No, don't. Don't team up. Why? Though. No. Okay, we freed ourselves. It didn't really do much. Ah, okay. Let's use gravity to our advantage. What the hell is this one? This one's got a mouth drawn on. They're all laughing. And we're leaving the egg. Why are my arms and legs twitching? Is that supposed to happen? Okay, there's a sperm in there. There was a sperm in there. I'd like to have pointed it out, but it didn't allow me to do so. Okay, we're being electrocuted. Is this the end of us? Is this how we die? Electrocution? Electrocution in the blood? Now, I don't necessarily want to say, hey, uh, this probably represents some kind of electroshock therapy because we're a damaged child. Because it may not be true, but at the same time, it may well be true. All of these kind of like little kids are wearing goggles. So I feel like that may be onto something, but Again, okay, I'm doubling down on the whole, this is just, this is just Nightmare Fuel for the sake of Nightmare Fuel. It's Sleep Paralysis Demon, right? Tries to use the peepees but gets tangled up in his own wires. <laughs> oh, the roleplay. Oh my gosh. 
Time to add add-ons. Man got tased? Yeah, we got tased. Don't tase me, bro. We are probably the worst duo ever, definitely. I'm flummoxed. I'm baffled, I am flummoxed, I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm spinning things around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, meat spin, meat spin. Don't Google meat spin. No one go out there, no one Google meat spin. Ah, my eyes. I need this to see. Oh, look, it's giving us a nice little flashback of our journey so far. Oh, is this death? We just saw our life flash before our eyes in the dream world. So this is the death of the, of the sleep paralysis demon. We're watching him flash before our eyes. His life is flashing before our eyes. Or we are dying. No, sleep paralysis demon dying. We survive. We beat the trials. We did it! We beat the sleep paralysis demon! No, no! And we've also got a ball and a rabbit at the foot of our bed. That was so confusing! <laughs> what do we think about the sleep paralysis demon theory? I think that that was probably the case, right? Because we saw it a couple of times looming over the bed. And then once we beat it, I'm pretty sure we also saw the death of the sleep paralysis demon. Its life flashed before its eyes and then it died and then we woke up and we were happy. Don't know what happened after that. I don't know if this dog right here is dead or not. It's got red all over it. I hope it's not dead. That would suck. We've also got this floating rabbit and we've also got this ball. Good game. <laughs> Face the fear, build the future, Jensen. That was good. I liked it. I liked it. I think I cracked the code. I feel like I cracked the code. And if I didn't crack the code, I definitely have a theory that at least stands the test of whatever the hell we just experienced. There was nothing that debunked it, really. The only thing that I could really point out is why this dream catcher right here is so prominent. But I think that this is hung here because maybe the child has a propensity to dream nightmares, which is generally why people hang dream catchers in the first place. Well, maybe like pre-2010, that's why people used to hang dream catchers. And then they got really, really popular in um, some of the trashier communities, so to speak. Slender time? Yeah, I'll play a little bit of Slender. This functional dream catcher? It doesn't work, does it? I feel like it's more of a, an icon to kind of like suggest don't have nightmares when you go to sleep, which doesn't necessarily work, but it, it does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? All right, or it's indicating it's not a dream. I definitely think it's a dream. I definitely think it's a dream because we were laying in bed the whole time. We got two cutscenes where we were laying in bed and this thing looming above the bed uh, basically just zapped us and put us back into the, the dream state that we were constantly in. I have a dream catcher when I was young because it would capture monsters trying to invade my dreams and it did trick my mind into stopping. Yeah, it, it definitely works. I have a song for you. Uh, okay, still streaming, might see it later. What about the whole floating crap around? Yeah, that is a weird one. I feel like the, these are just literally kind of like little achievements. Because I don't think they were there when we first started the game. I don't think they were there in the main menu. No, Jensen, you just live streamed for me at the wrong time. I have to go to sleep just right now. Well, hi again. Bye and have fun. Uh, enjoy the stream, everyone. Yes, do enjoy the stream. So, absolutely fantastic. 
honestly, yeah, that, yeah, I don't know how the people who made this game created such weird, creepy nightmare fuel in such an eloquent manner. But they did. They definitely did. All right, so I'm going to end the episode, then I'm going to play something else. We ready? Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find a playlist of spooky little one and dance that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Just down here behind the microphone is my genitals and belly button and also a link to my Discord in the description of this video. You go down there, you can join my Discord and talk to me in my community at your leisure. And until I make the next video or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Yeah, tell them to like and subscribe. Get him. Get him, Gunner.